This 112th Council meeting marks almost to the day the 70th anniversary of our organization. In fact, as it has been recalled on December 5th, 1951, the International Migration Conference was convened in Brussels. The 19 countries in attendance decided to found the organization that is today IOM. Under the name of Provisional Intergovernmental Committee for the Movement of Migrants from Europe, PICME. Well, not the snappiest acronym, of course, but in taking this step, the 19 founding states gave hope to hundreds of thousands of Europeans suffering in the aftermath of the Second World War. IOM's origins were therefore fairly modest in scope and its future quite uncertain. PICME was provisional. It was a committee with a temporary mandate and operations were limited to a single continent. Despite its critical importance to the lives of those who benefited from these early international transportation services, an area of activity which remains a key feature of our work to this day. The following year, in 1952, the first of several name and mandate changes took place as PICME became the Intergovernmental Committee for European Migration, ISEM. Well, at least the acronym has improved, which was no longer provisional, but was still limited to one continent, Europe. Over a quarter of a century later, in 1980, the Council decided to change the organization's name to the Intergovernmental Committee for Migration, ICM, in recognition of the organization's increasingly global role, in particular in Latin America and also in Southeast Asia. By this time, ICM had already assisted three million migrants and provided services in numerous other areas. Finally, in 1989, ICM became the International Organization for Migration, IOM, having expanded still, still further its reach and program of services. The status of uh, this organization has uh, further evolved since then and now boasts a nearly universal membership, as you have recalled, Mr. Chair. Constant growth in its scope of work and size of operations and of course, the crucial landmark of entering into the United Nations system in 2016 as a related agency. Over the past seven decades, the organization has undergone near constant metamorphosis, characterizing its flexibility and reflecting the changing scope and complexity of migration itself as a major global phenomenon. Today, IOM is a global organization, the premier international organization focused exclusively on migration. With a global footprint and a presence at some more than 500 locations in nearly 160 countries. As you all know, highly operational and field oriented, IOM works in close partnership with you, our member states the United Nations and other intergovernmental agencies, international and national non-governmental organizations, and research and academic institutions worldwide. Since our 60th anniversary in 2011, the organization has continued to grow at a steady pace, with an increase from 156 member states to the current 174. The IOM budget has also increased by another 50%, with annual expenditures now exceeding 2 billion US dollars. The organization's workforce has doubled in 10 years to over 20,000 staff members, 95% of whom are deployed around the globe in the field. Over time, IOM's role and responsibilities have expanded considerably, in line with the growing importance of migration and of displacement in general, as key issues which require support, solidarity, and dialogue within the international community. 
the adoption of the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration in 2018 has been definitely a watershed moment in this regard. Then, as now, IOM has sought to accompany the international community in its deliberations and do so with flexibility and responsiveness while remaining as close to the people it serves as possible, on the ground, in the field. This journey has been possible thanks to the engagement, commitment, and professionalism of all IOM colleagues, past and present, from very diversified geographical origins, to whom I wish to pay a very sincere and heartfelt tribute today. It is my great honor, it is indeed, to lead this organization on your behalf and to carry the legacy of my predecessors as well as that of the thousands of IOMers who have dedicated their lives to the noble values, mission, and mandate of IOM over the past 70 years. Yes, looking forward to the next 70. Thank you.